Welcome to Time Flux, Soundmorph's newest sound design tool for morphing, stretching, and creating time warp and slow motion type effects. Not only do you get Time Flux, but you get a 3.6 gigabyte library of samples designed by Soundmorph and Ivo Ivanov of Glitch Machines. These samples are experimental and designed, and complement a time manipulation sound theme. In Time Flux, you can load up to four audio files in the general section. There are eight snapshots around the Time Flux orb. As you can see, as I click on each one, the settings in Time Flux change. We've already saved some presets for this tutorial. To save any changes you make to a snapshot, all you have to do is shift click. As you go around the Time Flux orb, you are essentially morphing between snapshots. Let's take a look at the morpher first. You can have two sounds loaded, but let's just start with one to give an example of what it's doing. To add a sound, just drag it into any of the four load sound slots. If you need to clear it, just press the C button. For the sounds loaded into the morpher, it will take a few moments for it to convert into a spectral file. Spectral files allow you to move through time in a unique manner compared to a regular file because the audio is synthesized using the frequency information of the wave file, essentially being represented by multiple sine waves. You can think of it as turning any file into a synthesizer for simplicity's sake. Sound morph presents from us. Sound morph presents time now. Time flux and morphing and time. Once the file is converted to a spectral file, you can scrub through time and pitch using the XY pad in the morpher section. You can use the morpher slider to morph between loaded sounds A and B. Right now, we don't have anything loaded in Morpher B, so we won't hear anything. For now, let's keep the slider on the A side and morph between snapshots. You can adjust anything in Time Flux and then shift click to save that snapshot. Let's start at snapshot 1 and move around the Time Flux orb, saving a different snapshot in all eight snapshots. Now you can morph between your saved snapshots. Morph presents time flux in morphing and time manipulator. Now let's load another sound into the Morpher B slot. We recommend using sounds that are not too long and similar in length to each other, as the spectral analysis will be shorter and the sounds will be more easily controlled. However, you can of course experiment to your heart's content. As we showed earlier, you can move the slider between the A and B morpher sounds. Let's modify a few snapshots that we'll now put on the B side. Now you can see that we have some snapshots going to the morpher B sound. <laughs> In addition to loading the morpher sounds, you can also load normal wave files into the stretcher 1 and 2 slots. These files will not be spectral analyzed, and will retain their normal file state. Let's mute the morpher for now, and drag a sound into the stretcher 1 slot. Each stretcher has three parameters, volume, pan, and speed. The speed knob will control the playback speed of the samples loaded into the stretcher slots. When the speed is at the full right position, it will play at normal speed. When it is turned to the left, it will play in reverse. If you don't want a certain knob to morph between snapshots, you can click the M button, and it will remain static where you set it. You can also adjust the filter settings on the right side of Time Flux for the morpher, both stretchers, and the master output. Yeah. 
you can also load up to four VSTs on each section, the morpher, the stretchers, and the master output. To keep it simple for now, let's load up one VST on the master output. A reverb is the easiest example to hear. You can control three parameters at a time with each VST. Like all other parameters, these can also be saved in each snapshot. Let's select the wet and dry mix parameter and save it to a few different snapshots. To record your performance and save it as a WAV file, just hit the record button, do your thing, and then hit the stop button. If you own a Leap Motion controller, you can also control time flux with it. The XY of your hand will control the time flux orb, and you can assign parameters to the Z or negative Z axis for moving your hand back and forth. This concludes our tutorial of time flux. Thank you, and enjoy!